Binder Consulting International, or BCI, will be watching a number of elections occurring this year. Some will take place simply as formality because truly free and fair elections don't occur there. Others will be genuine expressions of democratic choice and voice. Our team at BCI will continue to support those courageously pursuing real democratic practice and promoting freedom. In 2024, more than half the world's population will have the opportunity to vote in an election. It will be a year where the world will witness a global democratic exercise of unprecedented scale amid shifting and tense geopolitics and regional conflicts. Elections will be held in nations from every corner of the globe, each with its unique political climate, each with its potential to influence global affairs. In the heart of Asia, India, the world's largest democracy, will cast their votes to elect the Lok Sabha, the House of the People. Some believe Narendra Modi and his BJP will return to power, but the election has the potential of inflaming Hindu-Muslim tensions. The outcome of this election could potentially sway economic and political policies, not only in India, but also in the region and beyond. Across the Pacific, the United States will hold its presidential, Senate and House of Representatives elections. These elections take place in a divisive political atmosphere and the stakes are high. The world will watch closely, knowing that the results could have far-reaching global implications. In Europe, the European Union will conduct elections for the European Parliament. Will far-right political forces who have been building momentum gain ground? The results will likely impact the Union's policies on issues such as climate change, immigration and international trade. Simultaneously, the largest archipelago nation, Indonesia, will hold elections for the Presidency, Regional Representative Council and House of Representatives. The outcome could shape Southeast Asian regional dynamics and beyond. Meanwhile, in the Middle East, Iran will elect its Islamic Consultative Assembly and Assembly of Experts. While few expect any significant change in policy direction, these elections take place amid regional and proxy conflicts. In Africa, nations such as South Africa, Algeria, Ghana and Mozambique will hold crucial elections. These outcomes could shape the continent's political and economic trajectory in the coming years. Moving to Eastern Europe, Russia will hold its presidential elections. While no one expects Vladimir Putin to lose, voter turnout and potential political violence will be closely watched. In Latin America, Mexico will hold elections for the Presidency, Senate and Chamber of Deputies. The two leading candidates for the presidency are women. If successful, one will be Mexico's first female president. In the United Kingdom, the House of Commons elections are likely to take place this year with a struggling Rishi Sunak losing ground to Sakir Starmer and the Labour Party. And in Asia, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, also known as North Korea, will hold elections for the Supreme People's Assembly. While a formality, these elections will change very little, particularly in its relations with South Korea, where National Assembly elections will also be held. These are just a few of the many countries holding elections in the year 2024. Each election, in its unique way, holds the potential to influence global politics, economics and societal norms. So, as we move forward into this pivotal year, remember that these elections are not just about the countries holding them. They're about shifting alliances and power dynamics in emerging geopolitical orders. 2024 will be a critical year as surprise results threaten to upend regional and global political relations.